everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to show you how you can use my fillable uh, shapes for to make your own charms and stuff for your digital planner so I did create this on keynote and you can purchase this uh, through my um, Facebook group you can send me the uh, money through PayPal which I have all that information on my Facebook group on the all digital planners group and I will um, try to link that down below um, and this is probably also going on the Facebook group so uh, if if this is on if you're watching this on the Facebook group then you can purchase it through the group and you know do all of that so I'm going to show you how you can tap and fill these um, shapes so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a new slide so I do not mess with my master shapes if that's what you want to call it I'm going to select this one all of these are fillable shapes um, so I'm going to just copy this and then take it to a blank page and paste and with all of this selected what you can do is go to the sidebar or your side menu over here and select uh, image and then you're going to click on replace and then you can go and find whatever image that you are wanting to fill this your chain with and I'm just going to select this pink leather scrapbook paper that I purchased off of Etsy and it will automatically fill all of your links and what I like to do is well, let me see let's bring that to the front because it's supposed to be in the front um, you can add a image up here if you want so let's say you want to add a crown to this you can copy this I recommend to not mess with the master file as or the master shape um, always copy it and paste it onto another slide and work with that one that you have pasted um, I'm going to let's see I'm going to replace the image and I'm making sure that my shape was selected and I got some scrapbook papers here um, I'm just going to use this one right here and these were some scrapbook pages that I also purchased off of uh, Etsy and then I'm going to downsize this and if all of my shapes that I have in here in this file is uh, resizable so you can resize it any way that you want like the width or the height um, but if you want to keep the aspect of it like everything in like in uh, shape with each other I, I'm, I don't know the word I'm looking for uh, uh, but you go to over here to your uh, side menu and click arrange and then this little part right here you want to select it so that way it will keep it you know you can't resize it either way so but if you want to then all you have to do is just click that off and it's under the arrange tab over here um, so say you want to do that and then let's just say I want to add this cute unicorn so I'm going to call a command C go back to my page I'm working on and then command V and I'm going to resize it and let's just say um, how do I want to do this uh, I think I'm just going to replace it with another uh, uh, scrapbook page that I have and like I said you can use any image that you have on your computer uh, saved onto your iCloud however wherever you can use whatever image you want um, and I also have the shadow turned on on all of these so when you take it over into good notes then it will kind of stand out it will make it look more realistic on your planner um, so I do not recommend to turn any of these shadows off and then what you can do um, you can also take this unicorn say you have like a rainbow colored um, scrapbook page you can fill it with that um, just kind of however you want to do it um, 
and then what you can do is just group everything together if you like the way it looks you can just group it so you can move everything at once and then what you can do is just copy it and then take it over to your good notes and just paste it and I recommend to work with a bigger size image and then copy that and then take it over to good notes so you don't have to hopefully resize it too much if you have to you would have to downsize it um, so that way it doesn't hopefully mess up the image and I hope this helps you on how to fill different shapes with or fillable shapes with other pictures that you're wanting um, and thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later Bye.